Okay, so are you ready for this? Because I am so ready for this. <laughs> Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2. I know, I know. We've been waiting, like, forever for this. Right. I mean, Part 1, it left us hanging, you know, <laughs> with a lot of questions and a lot of danger. Oh, yeah. Big time. Uh, remember the entity, that crazy AI that's, like, running rogue? Yeah, that's a problem. A huge problem. Ethan Hunt has to stop it, but, I mean, that's, like... His job. Right, that's yeah. kind of his whole thing. But this time it feels, I don't know, different. Like, this could be the end, you know? It really does. It feels like maybe this is it for Ethan Hunt. And you know what? Dead Reckoning Part 1 yeah. didn't exactly, like, smash all the box office records. Yeah, it wasn't their best. Maybe that's why they're thinking of ending it here. But they are going all out for this no, one. Oh, yeah, they are. That trailer. Whoa. I mean, the sunken submarine. Insane. And, of course, Tom Cruise hanging off a plane. He's got to be hanging off something. Come on. It wouldn't be mission impossible without. It. I think he'd play Ethan Hunt forever if he could. Honestly, I think you're right. He's like so dedicated to this, but uh, he's not alone. I mean, the whole gang's back for this one, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Simon Pegg, he's back. Love him. Benji's the best. Ving Rhames, can't forget Luther. And Haley Atwell, she was so great as Grace in Part One. She really was. Oh, and maybe, just maybe. We'll see Pom Clemente again. I hope so. She was awesome in part one. But wait, it gets even better. What, better than Pom Clemente? What yeah. could be better? Rolf Saxon, William Donlow, from the very first Mission Impossible movie, is back. No way. You're kidding. I am not kidding. That's what I'm talking about. Bringing it all back around for the fans. You know, I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. Talk about fan service. But uh, there are also some new faces in the mix. Ooh, tell me. Hannah Waddingham. No way. From Ted Lasso. The one and only. And get this, Nick Offerman. Ron Quanson. What is he doing in Mission Impossible? Who knows? But I'm excited to see it. Imagine Ron Swanson in a, you know, high stakes spy situation. That's amazing. This is going to be so good. But you know that scene in the trailer where Ethan looks right at us and says, I need you to trust me one last time. Yeah. Chills. I know. I got chills too. It feels so final, doesn't it? It does. What happens to Ethan? Yeah. What happens to the IMF? <laughs> We're going to have to wait to find out. <sighs> May 23rd, 2025. Mark your calendars, folks, <laughs> because this could be the end of an era. It definitely could be. I'm excited, but I'm also, I don't know, kind of sad. You know? I know what you mean. It's like saying goodbye to an old friend. Exactly. But hey, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe this isn't goodbye. Maybe it's just, see you later. One can hope, right? <laughs> always. One can always hope. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Exactly. But until then. Until then, we rewatch the trailer and try to decipher every little detail. I'm already on it. Me too. I can't wait to deep dive into this with you all when the movie finally drops. See you next time. See ya.